hi guys welcome to SciMath academy in today's lesson we are going to focus on how to divide decimals by whole numbers for example 3.40 divided by 2 so how many times does 2 goes into 3 2 times 1 is 2 subtract 2 from 3 the remainder is 1 now carry the decimal fine to the quotient and bring down the 4 near 1 to make it 14 2 times 7 is 14, subtract 14 from 14, the remainder is 0. So we can say that 3.40 divided by 2 is equal to 1.7. Now here is another example, 5.73 divided by 3. 3 times 1 is 3, subtract 3 from 5, the remainder is 2. Carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 7 near 2 to make it 27. 3 times 9 is 27. Subtract 27 from 27, the remainder is 0. Bring down the 3 near 0 to make it only 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract 3 from 3, the remainder is 0. So we can say that 5.73 divided by 3 is equal to 1.91. Now here is another example 2.2 divided by 55. But 2.2 is less than 55, so we will multiply 55 with such a number such that their fraud is either equal to 2.2 or less than 2.2. So we will multiply 55 by 0. So 55 times 0 is 0, subtract 0 from 2, the remainder is 2. Now carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 2 near 2 to make a 22. But here 22 is again less than 55. Again we will multiply 55 to add 0 to make a number less than 22. 55 times 0 as 0. Subtract 0 from 22 the remainder as 22. Now again put 0 and the dividend and bring down near 22. To make it 220, 55 times 4 as 220, subtract the 220 from 220, the remainder is 0. So we can say that 2.20 divided by 55 is equal to 0 0.04. Now in this question we have to divide 3.36 by 3. 3 times 1 is 3 subtract 3 from 3 the remainder is 0. Carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 3 near 0. 3 times 1 is 3 subtract 3 from 3 the remainder is again 0. Bring down the 6 near 0 and 3 times 2 is 6 subtract 6 from 6 the remainder is 0. So we can say that 3.36 divided by 3 is equal to 1.12. Now here is another example 57.8 divided by 34. So 57.8 divided by 34. 34 times 1 is 34. Subtract 34 from 34. The remainder is 23. Carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 8 near 23. Now 7 times 4 is 28. Write 8 and carry 2. 7 times 3 is 1 plus 2 is 23. Subtract 238 from 238. The remainder is 0. So 57.8 divided by 34 is equal to 1.7 now here is another example 8.19 divided by 18 so 8.19 divided by 18 again 8.19 is less than 18 so 18 times 0 is 0, subtract 0 from 8, the remainder is 8. Carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 1 near 8 to make it 81. 
4 times 8 is 32, write 2 and carry 3. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. Subtract 72 from 81, the remainder is 9. 9 is less than 18, so we'll bring down the 9 near 9 to make it 99. Now, no, 5 times 8 is 40, write 0 and carry 4. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. Subtract 90 from 99, the remainder is 9. 9 is less than 18, so we'll put 0 and the dividend and bring down at near 9 to make it 90. Now 5 times 18 is 90. Subtract the 90 from the 90, the remainder is 0. So we can say that 8.19 divided by 18 is equal to 0 0.4. Four five five. This is our final answer. Now here is another example. Sixty two point four divided by fifty two. Sixty two point four divided by fifty two. Fifty two times one is fifty two. Subtract fifty two from sixty two. The remainder is ten. Now 10 is less than 52, so we'll carry the decimal point to the quotient and down the fourth near 10 to make a 104. And 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract 104 from 104, the remainder is 0. So we can say that 62.4 divided by 52 is equal to 1.2. This is our final answer. In this question, we have to divide 0 0.69 by 23. So 0 0.69 divided by 23. Here 0 is less than 23, so 23 times 0 is 0. Subtract 0 from 0, the remainder is again 0. Carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 6 near 0. Again, 6 is less than 23. So, we will multiply 23 with such a number such that their product is either equal to 6 or less than 6. So, 23 times 0 is 0. Subtract 0 from 6, the remainder is 6. Bring down 9 near 6 to make it 69. So, 3 times 3 as 9, 3 times 2 as 6. Subtract 69 from 69, the remainder is 0. So 0 0.69 divided by 23 is equal to 0 0.03. So this is our final answer. There are two examples, 3.63 divided by 6 and 8.42 divided by 2. You have to solve these questions and comment the answer in the comment section. So dear viewers, thank you for watching. If you have liked the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos related to mathematics.